Hey guys and welcome back to more 7 Days to Die Alpha 20 Experimental Branch. Now before we get started there's a few things I want to address. Yes, the reason I'm a little bit all over the place with my skills and with my perks and with my gameplay is because it's Experimental Branch. We want to try a few things out, we want to see how hard the game got. So yes, I'm storming in a lot of times into houses, into buildings because that's what we've done in Alpha 18 and I need to know basically can we play the same way, which we can't in a lot of ways. Also you guys have left a lot of super comments which is amazing, especially around the bow that the bow is completely overpowered right now well not the bow but the actual arrows arrows have a huge amount of damage now and as you scale up they do nearly double damage or in some places even in some cases even more than they did in alpha 19 so we got to be focusing a little bit more on the bow play as well another thing that people were asking is why i only put out a video a day or once every two days that's very simple i just don't have the time because each of these videos they take about two to between two and four hours to record Court, and then I have about an hour to two hours editing and I work a full-time job so I only get to actually sit down like for about three to four hours a day if at all to do anything to do with YouTube so and seeing that most of it is done recording then the second day usually goes into editing so anyway that's that was that out of the way let's continue with this the first thing I want to do is make a hammer because now our claw hammer is going to be our new tool that we're going to use to upgrade the rest of our base. We're also going to have a horde net coming up very soon on day 14, which is completely going to destroy us, of course. And then we're going to go and actually experiment with some different designs. So I've seen a few designs that you guys shared with me. A few of you have actually linked your videos on my Discord, which I appreciate. So if you want to join my Discord to leave me some links in, in our discussions, absolutely go ahead and do that. And I will check out your videos and your tips and your ideas on good base designs for Alpha 20. So this is already a lot better. The hammer is making it possible that we're definitely going to have everything upgraded for the next Horde Knight. But next Horde Knight, we're still going to get completely hammered. We're going to get destroyed. They're going to come in and kill us because this is not going to work. This was just a quick setup to test how they behave differently, how the crouching works and all that. And yes, they still will come through. There's way too many zombies. Our game stage is through the roof and our weapons are just not up to par that's just because i increased my experience i wouldn't be at this game stage level if i would have left my experience normal so that's on me but that's what experiment is for to see what's changed you know to play around with a couple of ideas now one thing that hasn't changed is zombies want to come to your elevation so if you build a base ground level just put a couple of walls here on the ground and circle yourself in Zombies will attack any random wall. There will be no coordination, no control. If you want to control them, you're going to have to force them to come up to your level. And that means they will always come up the stairs. They will always come up to you. And there's different ways of dealing with that. So we're going to have to change from stairs to blocks so they're actually forced to jump, which slows them down. Not only that, we're also going to have to start introducing blocks. They're going to have to walk across so they possibly can push each other down, fall down. When they jump, have an edge, a corner, so they kind of stumble into each other and push each other down. So that by the time they get to you, you only have to deal with two or three zombies at the same time. Okay, we just leveled up from upgrading our base and I do want to go a little bit more into agility. So I think we're okay right here. I definitely want to put one more point into minus 69, but I think for range, we want to start getting more and more into the arrow just to test it out. And I think for when Alpha 20 comes out experimental and I leave everything normal, experience normal and everything, I will probably try if they, if they don't change the strength of the bow to see if we can do a pure agility but not a pure agility build you know it's not going to be like a challenge where we say hey nothing else is allowed but we're going to focus mainly on light armor you know archery and we're also going to go into agility now because we're using a baton and flurry of blows i think works with that as well any melee weapon so this is going to be very handy for us but right now i want to put one point into archery get a little bit more oomph in our bow and then the next point we're going to start looking at running gun flurry of blows for our current situation in uh, the pipe baton i know the pipe baton is awful compared to all the other melee weapon but i want to really try it in the experimental to stick to the um uh, baton and then the electric the electric baton and the robot which reminds me we actually can nearly do the robot slash and we can nearly do a stun baton we're missing two more parts of the stun baton we have two more baton parts and one more robotic part unless we obviously put a point into perks then we get more expensive recipes for the next level up but that is what i'm trying to do before the next horde night to get those weapons um built all right we have everything we need we're gonna do another quest we're gonna stick with the tier two quests here first because you guys had also said that in the comments our current trader here is leveled up to tier two however jen is level one 
So we don't have any experience with her. I think there's like factions similar. I saw that in Darkness Falls before. I don't know if it's in here. They have their own faction uh, experience. And I don't think we can see that right here. Um, in Darkness Falls, much you could actually see the faction quest. And I think that's how it works. So as you do more quests per trader, each trader levels up independently. Now, I don't know if this means that, say you're level 50, trader 4 unlocks, you go there and you get a level 1 quest. You go into a level 1 house for that quest. Will the loot be just horrendously crap? Uh, and the rewards be crap that it's not worth it or will all the rewards and everything still scale with your uh, loot level because then it could have the opposite effect you could go to somewhere where you get tier one quests but get amazing loot for your level which means easy loot yeah so i hope i hope uh, they have it balanced i don't know how they got, how they balanced it yet but we're gonna figure that out as well if not an experimental we're definitely gonna figure it all out in stable okay we leave bikey here we have ah uh, i forget about this one all the time all right, let's go. I think if we reset that, it will actually respawn the pig. Let's actually do this. And then if the pig responds, did it respawn? It probably did. Okay, this is a clear quest. Let's head up on the roof. I don't think I've done a quest in this POI before, so this should be interesting. There's something really wrong with the animation. Did you know you can't change with the animation going back? You see the way the animation goes back? I noticed that if I do this, as I go back, I can't change weapon. It waits until the animation is finished and then changes weapon. That is awful. Whoa. I like that they're hidden in walls now. I'm intentionally using my arrows. Whoop. Oh, he came through. Balls. No, no touches! No, it's a one-man bathroom. Oh my God, he's still alive. This is so, oh my God, this is going from terrible to worse. I actually thought I was being very clever closing that door and no, I'm not being clever at all. Okay, let's do that again. Holy balls on a cracker. We have to get used to the arrows because I really, really want to focus on them and get better at aiming and shooting and everything to do with bows and arrows because if we're gonna focus on that in the main gameplay after experimental i need to not suck at it as much as i do now okay what do we have here okay paper we're here at the loot there we go nice done and we still have to clear the area it's a clear and a fetch quest beautiful Is there anything to loot? Oh, the generator. Nice. Okay. That should give us a, uh, actually forged iron, I think. Yes. Another thing you guys have said in the comments, which I'm really excited about and I didn't know is, remember I was breaking down everything like around the AP area with the hatch? Buttons. Oh, 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 hang on a second. We have some guests. Oh, don't tell me it's a roaming horde that's coming down the stairs. That would be awful. Okay, may or may not be, so leave them alone. Is their buttons. Everything has buttons. So if you see this, this is closed. Yeah, and I would have started smashing it and go like, oh my God. If you click the button, apparently, there you go. It opens it. That is amazing. Oh, wow. Ninja. Oh, what? Why? That was so random. Okay, we have something here, maybe seeds. Oh, you also were saying about the farming that without living on the land or whatever it's called, this one here, living off the land, without that, you actually don't make any farming profit. So farming is basically pointless and useless, you guys were saying, unless you put points into uh, uh, living off the land. So apparently now you don't get any seeds anymore. The seed doesn't stay. So I think it just removes everything and you don't always get a seed back. So you're making a deficit. You don't actually, uh, you can't start making a farm 
and consistently maintain it unless you have living of the land. I think that's an interesting change. I, oh, wow. I kind of like it, but at the same time, I'm kind of thinking, well, I don't want to spend three points in living of the land. It's not really something I ever want to spend on. But if I can't farm at all properly unless I do that, I don't know. I might actually just not care about farming at all. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, there comes the piglet again. Oh, there's two piglets. Okay, let's check out the loot here. Is there more? Okay, that is a roaming horde. Balls. So at this stage, obviously, like, the, the arrow animation, the loading sometimes is so slow. Like, he's very fast now, but when you switch over, yeah, now he's loading. I don't know what it is. There's some animation. He zooms in and left-click aims, and that's working really fast. So immediately, right-left-click very fast. But sometimes, after I'm doing a swing or something, let's switch back. Yeah, there you go. Now, it's not loading. I'm left-clicking. It's not loading. So it's really weird. So sometimes the animation, I think it's because it's such a long-lasting animation that it somehow impacts uh, your next weapon that you select. Is there actually a main loot chest in this building? Because I'm not going to use my candy unless there is. Oh, there is. Great. Okay, so candy time. And that makes our loot go up to 58. Nice. We might actually get some decent clothes now. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't think this is better than what I have here. The wooden bow is the next tier up but to the primitive bow, but this is a worse quality, so it's not worth it really to switch at this stage, but we destroy it and get bow parts, which we then can use to actually make our own bows. Let's get the main loot. Okay. Oh, nice! We actually got a proper pistol now. That is pretty sweet. And we got some iron arrows and we got a schematic. That is beautiful. See if there's any more boxes before we go down and loot the rest. Uh, well, there's only one box actually to loot now. Oh, there's more books. Very nice. Just paper though. Okay, let's go down. And let's get that bookstore box as well. Oh, we already know that. That's great. We can sell that for more money. And I think that's it. Okay, we're gonna go into Flurry of Blows uh, that will hopefully speed up our baton nicely so we can do more hits. Watch your back. Okay, let's see what you got for me. An iron spear, another hunter mod, pipe bombs, iron chest armor. I think we're gonna take the pipe this bombs. Thank like you very despair. much. Do you have any other jobs? Let me see here. What is the closest? Knight only. Yes, the restore power quest. We want to try that out. Oh, we're going to get our ass kicked because Maybe our melee weapon is slow bad. and I can't so aim bad. to save my life. Just refilling on all the candy, sugar butts, health bars and jailbreakers. Just going to get rid of the laceration here. And I think we might also have to use our antibiotics. 10% um, it cures. Yeah, we have 0 0.7 left, but when we got hit, we increased our infection. So we might have to take that with us. The great thing having a workbench is you can just queue up some cobblestone and just skedaddle and let it run in the background and it should just do what it's told to do, which is great. So when we come back, we have loads more cobblestone. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the antibiotics and um, we're gonna take some vitamins if we have them. Yes, we do. We're gonna take this with us and we're gonna take a jailbreaker with us. There we go. 
I would say let's clear out everything we can clear out before we get to night time. Hello there. Goes the weasel. Did you see that head popping off? That was amazing. Okay, we're gonna go mail a baby. Come on. Whew, he is a big boy. Oh, a big copper. He's not spitting. Okay, I'm not complaining. Nope. He's gonna blow. Did he give birth to Charlie? Wow, mailbox looted and it actually has art of mining in it. After you know how to move and roll, you can usually get out of the way of an avalanche in one piece. Take 50% less damage from collapsing mines. Okay, very good. Do we have any points to spare? No, we don't. I think the next point I'm gonna get, I already put a point into pain tolerance and I don't ugh, I don't want to point, put points into um, fortitude just yet. So I think the next point I'm going to put into light armor and i noticed i'm actually not wearing any armor i i keep forgetting to put armor no wonder i'm gonna get killed so fast so can we start it no we can't your quest can only be started between 10 and 1 okay so it's nearly 10 o'clock and here we go let's start shit. shit 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 i have no idea what the quest is clear the area and restore the generator and just see if we can get some headshots nice Okay, that hasn't triggered anything. Oh, I can see Charlie here. I think Ego is here on the ground. Dog. Oh my god, there's a dog. Should we loot already? That's the question. Should we loot? Or should we turn the generator on? I think we should loot. Okay. That's very good. Making a lot of noise here. Oh, nice. Oh, look at that upgrade. Lovely. Let's get our loot here. What is the loot stage here? 50. Okay. Let's turn on the generator. So that's why you want to clear the area first, I guess, because as soon... Oh, as soon as you turn this on... Oh, crap, I'm stuck. I can't get out. I'm gonna get hit. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, okay, did we make it? Return to trade. Okay, now just don't die. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, come on. Is that a copper? Oh, balls. Uh, no, it's not a copper. That's okay. You get stuck nice. I like it. What is this actually here? Oh, is that, br is that bricks or is that the new stone? Oh, look at that. Nice. We get some good stone from that. And do we get some good metal from that? Oh, we get pipes. Lovely. What about this? Does that give us good wood? Oh, we have another big boy showing up. Oh, wow! Nice day, copper! Okay, and we're gone! 
Look at that. That's all grown. So let's see what we get for it. Oh, that's still growing. That's done. So we got two corn. We got two coffee and a seed. And we got two yucca. And to make a yucca seed, for example, you need five. There's absolutely no profit to be made. So the only seeds we want to ever plant then is the seeds that we find. And just get something out of it, you know, why not? Okay, we're gonna put a point into light armor and then we, I think we can craft level two armor. Yeah, level two, which is better than nothing. So we already have uh, the padded boots equipped. Might as well repair them. And we have the padded hood equipped, which we can repair as well. And now all we need is the padded legs and the chest, I think. And we might as well make a bandana. Padded chest coming up and padded gloves and padded legs. Okay, let's put it on. Excellent. So what I might do actually to make some money um, is keep this three, level three padded hood on me instead of the level six. It's not that much of a difference. It's more durability, sure, uh, but repair cost is cheap. It's just cloth. And the armor is a little bit under at 7.3 compared to the 5.9. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a helmet um, light mod in here and that's the one I'm actually gonna wear. And then I'm going to take this one and put the Helmet Light mod in there to increase its value. Not only that, I'm going to take with me a scrap chest. I'm actually going to take all of the armor with me as well to the trader and see if we can buy any of the mods and do the same as we did last time, where we just basically increase the value a lot. So this one here is currently 126, but with this, it's 630. So it's a huge buff. We want to sell some stuff, so let's use the sugar buds. Let's get the reward. Oh, level three pistol. Oh my God, three antibiotics. I'm not even gonna think about anything else. Oh, but, mm, mm, okay, no, no, no. That's all we're gonna do, end of story. Okay, tier two, restore power, night only. That was a really exciting quest, but I prefer daytime quests. <laughs> oh, that's a close fight, we know that one. So we have an improved fitting mod here. I'm sure we're gonna get some good money for that. So that's 425. The most expensive here we have is 460. So I don't know if we increase enough the value. I don't know if it was actually going over a thousand. I don't think so. Let's try it out. Let's see. 425. That means we would want to make a profit of a thousand eighty-five. Oh, so one thousand eighty-five and then we make profit. Well, maybe you should try Shamway. <laughs> no profit here. So this is not gonna work. It, it will be worth it on steel armor or whatever is after scrap armor like so that definitely will be worth it after that we're gonna sell the hood anyway 690 is definitely worth it thank you and we might as well sell these guys here what is the engine worth 230 that's not bad all the duplicate recipes brass radiator oh somebody was asking me how i sell multiples so basically if you see here if you click on it you sell one but if you shift left click it selects everything that's how i'm doing that in case you didn't know because a few people have been asking in the comments okay here's a few purchases we're gonna make um i'm gonna buy all the nine millimeter ammunition because we have a proper pistol now and i'm gonna buy the anvil as well yeah we didn't have an anvil and it's gonna help a lot so 80 forged iron will take eight minutes or four minutes and 40. So now our pipe machine gun actually does as much damage as our pistol because it's a level five, you know, and it has a mod on it. So this should work nicely during Hot Night. This should work nicely. I'm not going to take that shotgun. It's a one shot and it slows balls, which is not bad when you loot a house. And actually, if we wouldn't have the 300% increase in experience, absolutely, this would be a very, very good starter. Like the plunder boss, you know, get into a house, just boom, take the zombies out one at a time. Now, we also have a lot of Molotovs, which seems to have worked really, really well last time when we used them. So we maybe use them more. And we also have some grenades as well, which do little block damage, but a huge explosive damage, similar to the pipe bombs. So we're going to have pretty much two guns, all the throwables, and 
hope to survive, I guess. Okay, let's continue with the quest and see if we can unlock tier three. Now, tier three quest, I'm imagining I'm totally not able to do at this stage, but we gotta push the boundaries. We gotta see what we can do. I don't even use guns yet on my raids, on my quests, because, well, so far I didn't think I really needed them. So yeah, sure, I get my tiny kicked, but that's mainly because I'm not paying as much attention as I should. So let's go right in here, the apiary. Oh, that's great, because this is where the loot is, I think somewhere in there in the back. Oh, look at that! That is awesome! Oh, that is beautiful. Nice water lineup. Let's see what we got in the bookshelf. Oh, very lovely bacon and eggs coming as a separate recipe. We already know it, so we're going to sell it, but I like that it comes by itself as a recipe. And dynamite, something I will never use unless I actually mean to destroy a house. Completely missed it. It was right here in the first in the first room. We killed the first two zombies and we could have cut this short very quickly. There we go. Okay, so this time around, we're gonna pay attention to what you guys were saying and use the switch instead. Oh, there we go. Can we hear them? Oh, nice! It's actually a lumberjack, so we might get a chance of big loot here. There we go. It's very hard. Every now and then you miss the head ever so slightly. And I think there is a default percentage or some sort of percentage of being able to miss regardless. Oh, that was actually a lucky shot through the fence. So you could be right in front of them. But because of your, I think your skill or something, there's always a small percentage that you might miss a shot. Unless that's not uh, there anymore. So I might be talking rubbish. Nice. Okay, let's hurry up before we get caught out again down here by a roaming horde. That would be two for two then. Let's see what we get. Okay, 18 bullets. This is good. Iron arrowheads. Love it. And let's see what's in the big trunk. Okay, some more healing and steel. Sp oh, steel spare par spear parts. We're going to sell them. And some more ammunition for horde knight. Very good. And I think that's pretty much it. All right, let's see what we have. Another claw hammer. First aid kit. More 9 millimeters. Butter up. Now, I'm... Definitely favoring the baseball bat over the baton, but again, for experimental, I'm just gonna try to stick it out, and we're just going to have to see if we can get any better at it. So, ammunition is always gonna come at a premium, so I think ammunition is very scarce in this update. Well, from what I've seen so far, so we're gonna take ammunition. Now, quickly get another job nearby. So we hopefully, yeah, not gonna do night only. If we're gonna get this job done quickly, we might do the night only job after that. So one of the things that I was thinking about, and that's based on a comment I saw. So somebody, I think it was either on Twitter or in one of the YouTube videos in the comment, uh, said they're used for the first Horde Night barbed wire fences and electric fence posts. So barbed wire fences, they're not too expensive. So I think I have some iron here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna queue up some barbed wire fences in my workbench. And then when it comes to electric fences, so let's see, barbed wire, how many can we make? Yeah, let's make, I think 25 should be plenty. And let that run. And then when it comes to electric fences, what do we need on points? So we're gonna need a level three of advanced engineering, I think, to get the electric fences. Yeah, such as electric fence and blade traps to unlock. And that is level six, so which is one point here, but I think we need another three points then here. So that means four points. You know what? Uh, seeing that intellect in general will strengthen the damage and improved headshots of our baton, we might as well put that point in there already. Then we're gonna spend the next two points in here or we're gonna be lucky and find glasses. And then we maybe can craft some electric fences. So the barbed wire is crafting here. Let's go and let's do the quest. So let's see how quickly we can get this one done. Okay, it's a clear and a uh, fetch quest. Oh, oh, Genie Mac, there was a little bit of a freeze there. Let's actually get the coffee. And that was good loot actually in the bag. I'm very impressed with the yellow bags. So before we go upstairs, let's have a look through the rooms here. It could be in this room here, I think. Down here. Ow, okay, got cut in half. There's a lot of lag happening in here. I apologize for that. I don't know why that is. Maybe a lot of blocks are falling or something. Oh, we're too close to the Dijon Tower because I believe the Dijon Tower is um, 
causing a lot of issues with lag. Oh, beautiful. And another back popper. Beautiful. Nice. What do we have here in the bookshelf? Oh, lovely. Learn how to care for your bat. It will last longer. Nice. What do we have here? Spear, deadly combo. Now, we're not using a spear, but we're still going to read all of those, of course. Let's head upstairs and see if there's any more zombies to clear. Let's make a little bit of noise. There we go. Oh, he hit me as he was turning on the ground. Wow, I'm impressed with that. Hit while not even looking at the target. That is multitasking. Okay, let's stop that bleeding. Okay, very good. Okay, very nice. I love it. Okay, let's eat. Yeah, that is not an official path. So, oh, look at that. Here we go. Here we go. Nice. Across the ceiling. I love it. Oh. There we go. Look at that. Nice. We made it. Okay, what do we have here in the bookshelf? So many bookshelves. Oh, look at that AK-47. Yes. Oh, I love it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yes, turret. Love it. Okay, our friends are here. Beautiful. That worked out so well. And that was all right clicks. How is our stamina not completely shattered? Okay, we have one more upstairs. Okay, let's go. Let's have a look across to the other side. Yes, there's a staircase. Let's see if there's any hidden boxes. This is a very nice POI. I like it, but the lag is just unbearable. Um, I wonder if there's options that you can just not have Dijon Towers or something, because I think for me anyway, the towers are causing a huge amount of problems. Okay, so let's see if we can be sneaky. Okay, they're up. Okay, medicine, very nice. More ammunition. Shamway box. I'm trying to rush because I want to get to the trader. Oh, antibiotics would be so sexy right now. And let's see what we have here. Okay, double bell shotgun. Oh, yes, look at that. Motorcycle coming in or a mini bike anyway. All right, let's quickly hurry up to the trader. Can we die hard off the roof or something? That would be pretty awesome. Okay, here we go. We're going to go from the roof to the window. It's going to work. It's going to work. Whew. Here goes nothing. Yeah. And then we're going to go down here. Yeah, and off we go. Beautiful. I did not know the trader had a back entrance. Oh, I love that. That is... Oh, okay. I thought we already looted that. Maybe it respawned because uh, loot respawns every seven days. So, no. Okay, we must have just missed it. Did we miss anything up here? No. Oh, a robo sledge. I was going to build my own for Horde Knight. That is such perfect timing. Oh, man. Nice. And we can put the burning shaft mod on that. And, oh, this is going to be amazing. Do you have any other jobs? I'm going to take the nightly job now. Thank you very much. Okay, before we go, this is where we're going to have our sledge. And now we should be able to place this exactly the way we want. There we go. Completely forgot. Modify. Bam. There we go. Let's do it. He's a big boy. You know what we're gonna do? We miss. Okay, that's the price you pay for trying to be prepared.
Let's loot. Oh, nice, a treasure map. That is gonna be awesome with our lockpick and the jailbreaker. Can't wait to open it. Oh, balls. Oh, balls. He's gonna get through quick, so let's do this quickly. That's a wolf. If he's getting through, I'm screwed. Come on! Oh! Yes! Wolf is coming. Wolf is coming. Let's go! 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 Woohoohoohoo! Yeah, baby! Oh no! Smartass is getting stuck! Oh! Okay. I mean, the city in the fog looks amazing, especially with all the zombies just running around and totally not reacting to me. It's probably because I'm so cut up, I look like one of them. What was that? Was that an army dude zombie? Oh, crap. Ooh, perfect timing. I love the jiggly bits. <laughs> They're great. So let's actually see where the treasure map is. That is quite a distance away. I don't think that's anything we're gonna do anytime soon. It used to be in a certain radius around where you read the map and now seems to be just like, uh, I don't know, maybe there's a lot of stuff in it so they want to make it really worthwhile that you have to journey there. Definitely worth it when we go into the snow biome again. Okay, let's hunt this baby in. Bipod mod, oh. I'm gonna take this because I think we might be able to increase the price on this weapon for it. Because all the other stuff, I'm kind of meh. I don't think it's that important. Do we get more tukes with sugar butts? Let me see, so XP. Items, casino token, 140 bonus, 1540. So let's take the sugar butts. No, nothing changes. So that stays the same. Okay, let's take that. We have another job. Clear zombies, tier two. That's the closest. Oh my God, it has like two nightlies. And his loot has refreshed. Day 13 was the last refresh. So let's see if we can find oh, antibiotics. That would be 1,800. Um, honey, we should definitely buy it because it seems to be in rare supply. But let's have a look at mods if we can find some. He actually got a lot of food in right now. And loads of resources here. That is actually really handy. I mean, we're going to buy all the iron for sure. All the duct tape. We should definitely buy that. Feathers. Yes. Always buy the gunpowder when it's there. But let's first oh, of all see if we can get a lot of money for this. 456. I might keep that for when we get a more expensive version. So I'm gonna sell all these items now individually. Anyway, there we go. Beautiful, and we're back to 6,600. And there's more sugar butts. I'm actually gonna buy the food here first. I think the food is cheaper here. I'm probably gonna buy all the food in here as well. And then we want to buy all the antibiotics and the jar of honey. I think now food-wise and health-wise resources. Okay, we're here at our next quest area. We're just gonna have to clear out the welcoming committee. Okay, a couple of right clicks. And one more. Oh, no, 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 not enough. Did we get him? Oh, we got him! Look at that for Ninja! That was so sweet. Beautiful, I would have loved the bag. Okay, so let's empty this truck. This is where the quest actually starts here in the back, but let's have a quick look in the truck. There's some food here. And then the usual. Okay, let's do this. It's a clear quest. So we're just gonna have to kill everything. Oh, loads of resources in this one. Okay, I think we're gonna have to go upstairs. Oh, there's a bird. He was waiting! He was waiting and then he didn't do anything! And then when I switch, he moves! He was sadistically waiting for me to be unarmed! Luckily, he didn't break my legs. Oh. Okay, here we go. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Oh, they're coming through here, okay. Ooh, nice, thank you, what do we have? 
All right, a little bit of food, a little bit of drink. Let's take that. Oh, nice. A laser sight mod, that is amazing. Okay, I think we're just gonna have to jump down and clear them out. Let's go. Into the supermarket we go. Oh, there is so many of them. through every shelf um through every container here and literally the most we got was rotting flesh a couple of cans bones very little amount of seeds which is okay but you didn't miss much it's literally that's all the loot there was between all the shelves there is a shamway box though we might find recipes in here let's have a look oh nice blueberry pie don't mind if i do wow the best loot in this whole place comes from a moldy backpack, which is a level six pipe shotgun. <laughs> okay, let's get into the final room. There we go, that's it. Whew, okay. Is there anything we can loot here? Let's see what's in the shami boxes. Okay. And corn. Ammo pile, very good though. Ooh, robotic parts, nice. Let's have a look and see what we have on big rewards. Oh, very nice. Let's repair that because it's only cloth. Also heal ourselves and let's take the ammunition. Very nice. And we're done, return to trader. Oh, this is nice. We have the pipe shotgun that we found. Fully repaired, it's 168. And now with the duck bill. It's 672. There we go. That's some nice, easy money. Damn. Let's hand it in. Like shotgun shells, yeah. hunting knife schematic. That would be pretty awesome. Yeah, we're going to go with shotgun shells. How many more quests do we have to do? I think we're going to do one more quest. We have to do one more quest, maybe? Good luck. You better not okay. This. And he's not going to refresh until day 16. Uh, However, oh, he has a secret stash which also can be leveled up. Damn. So we have some spare Ashi. points. So if we're gonna go into Better Barter, I think Better Barter 3 upgrades the secret stash and it upgrades it right now, I think. Yes, it's different. That is amazing. So we now can buy a complete mini bike. Oh, that is amazing. A hunting rifle schematic. There's so much here and we have another two days to get it. This is amazing. Look at that turrets. Oh no, look at that learning elixir. I have sugar butts at home, which means uh, that would be only 2200 or something like that. We should definitely get that recipe. We have a few get more off, minutes, a few more minutes. Let's get it. Let's uh, take well, the sugar butts. Oh no, quick, 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 quick. Okay, sell, 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 and now go and buy. Quick, 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 where is it? Oh my balls, where is it? There we go. Buy, nice. Okay, let's read it. I know we're gonna need a super corn, corn for that, which we don't have yet, but we all, I already started saving kind of dog foods, red tea, bottle of acid, all that stuff and beer. I, every time I find it, I keep it. And all we need now is super corn and then we can do that, which gives us even more experience, which is amazing, especially for heart night. Now we're not gonna have it for this heart night, obviously, but nonetheless, I think this went really well. Guys, I'm gonna leave this episode here. I hope you have enough packed into an episode like i said i record these over one or two days uh, several hours i like to show condensed progress um instead of just you know just the one day which i used to do because i find a lot of things that are happening throughout the day are not really interesting well personally to me so i hope you guys like the way this is edited together and appreciate the progress and let me know what you think in the comments below i hope you enjoyed the episode if you did remember to kick that like button in the balls and i hope i see you guys in the next video and if you're new to the channel and you like what you see hit that subscribe button and and I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, viel Spaß and happy gaming.